The objective of this tutorial is to get a common understanding of the terminology we'll use in future tutorials. At this stage, we'll focus on the user interface of the CNC, the components that the operator sees and that the maintenance engineer will use as a diagnostic tool. There are three main components to the operator user interface. The CNC display, the MDI panel, and the machine operator panel. We will provide an overview of the CNC display in this tutorial, and we will discuss the MDI panel and the machine operator panel in future tutorials. The CNC display is a screen just like on a PC, displaying various information based on the selections made by the user. You may also hear the CNC display referred to as the LCD or the CRT. LCD is an abbreviation for liquid crystal display, the display technology used by most contemporary CNCs. CRT is an abbreviation for cathode ray tube, a technology that was used by displays several decades ago. The CNC display also includes the soft keys. These are keys or buttons whose meaning and function changes depending on the current display and function selected. The current meaning or function of each soft key is displayed above each soft key at the bottom of the screen. Here we are sitting on the program check screen. On the program check screen, the leftmost five soft keys are associated with the left hand of the screen, which is displaying axis position information. We have the choice between absolute, relative, and all. We will explain these screens in more detail in a later tutorial. For now, just understand the relationship of the soft keys. The rightmost five soft keys are associated with the program. We have the choice between displaying the currently active program, the folder that lists the registered programs, a display that only shows the current and next block to be executed from the part program, and the program check screen we started with. The fifth soft key is labeled OPRT for operations. We will come back to this in one minute. But note the little soft key display to the right of the operations soft key. It displays a plus sign. The fact there is a plus sign displayed means there are more choices available. There just isn't enough room or soft keys to display them all at one time. Pressing the right arrow or continuous menu soft key when a plus is displayed above it will show more choices. Now an additional choice restart is displayed. The plus is again displayed. So we press the continuous menu soft key again. Actually, we're now back at the original set of soft keys. So you can see that by pressing the continuous menu soft key, we can show all of the choices that are available. Now let's look at the operation soft key. Operations refers to the currently selected soft key. That is the one that looks depressed. Currently, the check soft key is depressed. If we press the operation soft key with the check soft key selected, we will see the operations associated with check. The soft keys on the right now all change and now list various operations that can be performed. We have the choice of a program search, sequence number search, or to rewind the program. And there are two choices labeled p-type and q-type that are related to the program restart function. Also note the plus sign above the continuous menu soft key. That means there are more operations to choose from. Now we have the choice of turning on the call stack. Pressing the continuous menu soft key again shows the original set of operational soft keys. So that's all the soft key choices that are available. To exit the operations menu and return to the next higher level menu, we press the right arrow or menu return soft key. Now we see our original function soft keys. If you press each of the soft keys currently displayed in turn, you can see that not all functions have operations associated with them. 
in this case program, folder and check, have associated operations, but Next does not. We will talk about the various screens and operations available that are relevant to maintenance in future tutorials. Now let's take a look at a few elements that are displayed on every screen. The label displayed in the top left indicates the screen currently displayed, though in this case it's only referring to the left hand side of the screen. It indicates we're looking at the actual position of the axes. The text displayed in the top middle right of the screen is the active part program name, part counter example in this case. If a four digit program number is used to identify a program rather than a 32 character program name, it is displayed in large characters. The large characters in the top right of the screen is the active sequence number. Most programs developed by CAM systems leave out the program sequence numbers to save part program space so the sequence number is often displayed as all zeros. The section right above the rightmost five horizontal soft keys is the status bar. One obvious item displayed in the status bar is the current time. The leftmost item in the status bar confirms the CNC mode. It is currently in MEM mode, which is also called Auto or Program mode. The Mode button on our Operator panel is labeled Auto. The next few sections are additional status. It currently reports that there is a hold on the axis. So even if the light on the Cycle Start button on the Operator display was broken, we can still see one reason the axis might not be moving. If we press Cycle Start to release the hold, the status changes to Start Motion. We will discuss the status bar in more detail in a later tutorial, but it's good to know it's there. The last item just above the status bar is the key input buffer. If we stop this program execution and go to the tool offset setting page, we can demonstrate the purpose of the key input buffer. Tool number one currently has a tool radius of 0.75 inches or a diameter of 1.5 inches. Let's say that we want to change this to a 2 inch diameter and enter 1 inch as the radius. First we enter the number 1 and a decimal point. Note that the value did not immediately go into the tool offset table. It is currently displayed in the key input buffer. We could still cancel or edit the information in the key input buffer. It's only when we press the input key on the MDI panel that the value gets transferred from the key input buffer to the target, in this case the tool geometry radius of tool 1. This is a key difference between a FANUC CNC and a PC. The user gets a chance to review and edit all data entry values before committing them to the CNC. We'll see a lot of examples of the key input buffer in future tutorials. Now all of these examples have been based on the 10.4 inch display. Currently there are several display sizes available from FANUC, including an 8.4 inch display, a 15 inch display, and a 19 inch display. First the 15 inch display. You may see 15 inch displays on larger, complex machine tools. It provides more real estate to display information. Now you can see we have 12 horizontal soft keys along the bottom of the screen and 9 vertical soft keys along the right hand hedge. If you can remember the check screen on the 10.4 inch display, you may recognize that the function selection keys that were on the rightmost 5 horizontal soft keys are now displayed on the vertical soft keys. In fact, since there are now 8 soft keys available, all the choices are displayed at one time. There is no need to press the continuous menu key to see additional choices. The larger screen allows all of the positioning information to be displayed at the same time. So there is no need for soft keys to switch between absolute, relative and all axis position displays. The horizontal soft keys at the bottom are now all the operations associated with the check function. 
so there's no need for an Operations soft key. When we press one of the other soft keys, see that the Operations available change accordingly. And of course Next still doesn't have any Operations. The very bottom vertical soft key does not have a soft key definition displayed. It is the One Touch Menu key. If you press that soft key, the vertical soft keys change to One Touch Quick Page Selection soft keys of other function pages. The One Touch soft keys can be customized to suit a particular user, using system parameters 3321 through 3336 providing one-touch access of up to 16 screens. By default, the first set of one-touch soft keys include the All Positions page, the Program page, the Check page that we were just on, the Offset page, and the Macro Variables page. The bottom vertical soft key has a right arrow indicating there are more choices. It works kind of like the Continuous Menu soft key. Now there are more choices, including the Setting page, the Parameter page, Access Parameter Tuning page, Guard or Error Prevention function page, and the Language Select page. To return to the regular vertical soft keys, we press the One Touch menu key again. If we go back and select the Offset One Touch soft key, then exit the One Touch menu, we see a different set of soft keys than when we were on the program check screen, because we have moved to the offset page. Now there are more than eight soft key choices available, so the bottom of the eight soft keys becomes a next page soft key, again similar to the continuous menu soft key on the horizontal soft keys. This one touch menu navigation may be a bit confusing to someone familiar with the traditional FANUC soft keys, but once mastered, it can make operations faster and more convenient. The 19-inch screen soft key operation is very similar to the 15-inch screen. If the 15-inch display gave us more capabilities, you can probably guess that the 8.4-inch display is going to provide some limited options. Here we are again on the program check screen, and note we only have seven horizontal soft keys and only five available for functions. You will note that they are the same as the rightmost five soft keys from the 10.4 inch display. All of the position information is displayed, but it's all in the standard character size. There is no large display of axis positions. If we want to see a large display of axis positions, we have to go to the position display. Other than that, the soft key operation is similar to the 10.4 inch display. We still have the continuous menu soft key to see more choices, and pressing the operation soft key displays the operations associated with the currently selected display function. Because the area for the soft key definitions is a little smaller, they are a little more abbreviated in some cases but they are still sufficient to guide the user on selecting the correct function. Setting parameter 11356 bit 4 to 1 provides 12 characters to display the soft key definitions on the 8.4 inch screen, but the characters are slightly smaller. You may have noticed that the 10.4 inch display also had vertical soft keys but no soft key definitions are displayed. In fact, if you press the One Touch menu key, you can display the One Touch quick access soft keys, just like the 15 inch and 19 inch displays. However, the soft key definitions do cover up some portion of the display, so you need to press the One Touch menu key again to remove the soft key definitions. You will have to decide if this functionality is useful or not. If you want to disable this functionality on a 10.4 inch screen, set up parameter 8654 bit 0 to a 1. The last item on the CNC screen are the access doors to the PCMCIA memory card slot and the USB memory stick slot. More on these in the tutorials on backing up and restoring the CNC system files. 
This completes this tutorial and overview of the CNC display. Next we'll provide an overview of the MDI panel.